This is the WWE SmackDown May 10, 2024 full show results video which takes place at Mohegan Sun Arena at Casey Plaza in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania. Nick Aldis is in the ring and explains we've got a big night and he wants to get right into it, and he calls American Nightmare Cody Rhodes down. Aldis congratulates him on his title defense and says he wants to talk about King and Queen of the Ring and informs him that his next challenger has been determined and he thought there was no better time to introduce him than right now. It's United States Champion Logan Paul. Paul talks about the main eventing against Rhodes and how it'll truly kick the Paul LaVescara off. He points out that he's now the longest reigning champion in the company and the greatest attraction and claims to have the greatest rookie year of all time and he's the greatest superstar. He wishes a kid in the crowd happy birthday and claims his brands and ideas lead to more chatter on WrestleMania night than Cody did. He claims credit for WWE's rise in popularity of late and asks Rhodes how you finish the story when it's not even your story, and he wants to talk about how he's going to win the title. Cody says he bets lots of people stand across from Paul and think he's a dumbass, but he's not going to pretend this is a fad for him and he's gotten a sense of who Logan Paul really is, and compliments his achievements before running down his character and his false claim to be the linchpin of WWE and says he's going to find out the truth at King and Queen of the Ring. Then we saw a Queen of the Ring first round match between Naomi vs Nia Jax, and the result of this match was Nia Jax defeated Naomi by pinfall with the bonsai drop. Then we saw a King of the Ring first round match between Baron Corbin vs Carmelo Hayes, and the result of this match was Carmelo Hayes defeated Baron Corbin by pinfall with a small package. Then we saw a Queen of the Ring first round match between Jade Cargill vs Piper Niven, and the result of this match was Jade Cargill defeated Piper Niven by pinfall with Jaded. Back from the commercial, Shinsuke Nakamura cuts a promo about how he's here to destroy everyone that stands against him and claim what is rightfully his, and now that he's here on SmackDown, no one is safe. Then we saw a Queen of the Ring first round match between Bianca Belair vs Candice LeRae, and the result of this match was Bianca Belair defeated Candice LeRae by pinfall with KOD. The Bloodline are hanging out backstage when Paul Heyman rolls up to ask Solo Sokoa for a moment of his time. Paul says he's Roman Reigns' wiseman, and Solo was making decisions without him, to which Sokoa says Heyman's decisions, like pulling Roman out of the draft, are taking money from them, and he asks Paul if he wants his kids to starve, and accuses him of sending Jey Uso signals for help. Sokoa says he knows he's trying to protect the family, okay, but he hasn't spoken to Roman since he lost the title at WrestleMania, but Solo has, and until he comes back, he's in charge and he calls the shots, and Heyman will be his wiseman by orders of the tribal chief. He then demands a hug from Paul E and tells him he loves him while shooting a meaningful look at the Gorillas of Destiny. Then we saw a King of the Ring first round match between Angelo Dawkins vs Tama Tonga, and the result of this match was Tama Tonga defeated Angelo Dawkins by pinfall with a jumping reverse STO. Post-match, Solo hits the Samoan spike on Dawkins as well for good measure. In the main event of the show, we saw a King of the Ring first round match between AJ Styles vs Randy Orton, and the result of this match was Randy Orton defeated AJ Styles by pinfall with the RKO, and the show goes off the air, 